Okay, we are ready to start. First of all, thank you for not letting the audience to be smaller than the panel. Uh, and you choose to come to this, but I'm sure that is because of the extraordinary uh, interesting subject and also because of the panelists. Uh, we will discuss about in this session, which has the name of a vitamin, it's called B1. It's not yet a bomb dropper, but it's a vitamin. It's about functional urban areas and links to declining areas. Uh, as um, I asked the distinguished panelists to say each of them two, three words about them because I don't know all of them so well to introduce. But that also gives me the opportunity to speak about myself, what could be more pleasant for a moderator at the beginning. Um, I, uh, I'm teaching for 30 years. I worked in public administration. I worked in the Ministry of Public Works for eight years, between 90 and 98. And then I worked also with um, the Economic Commission for Europe of UN, and then I taught, I learned, and then I taught in, uh, in Harvard, in um, Central European University in Rotterdam. And now I'm in a much more comfortable position because you know when you teach, you are supposed to teach everyone and what to know, so it's easy. Um, and uh, due to my former students, which are now working in the ministry, and to the uh, kindness of uh, organizers of the um, seminar, I'm supposed to moderate this session, and I would not make a long introduction. We have uh, five interventions, five presentations. Uh, of course, we, I would do as much as possible both to save time for debates and questions and also to be in time for the, for the break. I think it's important to be in time for the break usually. And um, this, this, this subject is, is related and it's very nicely formulated, links to declining area. Obviously, and that somehow continues the debate we had in the first session, it deals with the speed of changes and with the nature of changes. There are areas which are developing quicker, there are areas which are stagnant, there are areas which are declining, and they might or might not be functional urban areas. They might or might not be depending or very strongly influenced by a central city. They might be a conglomerate. It might be for resource reasons, for labor reasons, for deindustrialization. It, it might be for globalization effects, usually it's easy to blame globalization even if sometimes it's only one of the causes. And I think that the debate here, it's, it's very interesting because actually it relates the two issues, the functional urban area and the territorial cohesion, as much as is already uh, discussed. And obviously, the vehicle which links them is policies, which I made a joke before, but it's a, actually it's a very important thing because formulating policies, formulating them realistically, having them taken on board, having them implemented, and what's more important, having them monitored and evaluated, these are things that are, sounds very well and coherent in theory, but in other, it's not only because for, for political reasons, but for many other reasons, they are not always in practical terms in the